I hope you all are well. Today we are going to talk about Pepperberg. This is a really famous study by Irene Pepperberg, a researcher who tested and trained an African gray parrot named Alex, who was known to be really intelligent, one of the most intelligent, uh, intelligent parrots on this planet. He was known as the Michael Jackson of the animal research world, and he was um, trained and tested on the concept of same and different. So let's get into the background of the study. Um, there had been a long interest in non-human primates who, ha who have been thought to exhibit the capability and the ability to make meaningful communication with one another, such as chimpanzees and gorillas. Researchers in the past have had been able to taught to teach animals to make meaningful communication with one another and express their abstract ideas in the form of even sign language. And there, but there has been this particular set of cognitive abilities needed for the comprehension of same and different that has been thought to be present in some other species, such as parrots. Um, there has been some experiments done in the past who have claimed to examine same and different concept, but the but what they actually tested them on was the total similarity of the object, similarity or difference of the object, not the arbitrary symbols. So, for example, some prisons were tested and trained on the concept of match to sample and oddity from sample. So, for example, a pigeon was shown this green box, all right, first, that was the sample. And then he was shown all of these three boxes together and he was asked, what is same, what, um, what is different? The pigeon was able to identify, let's, let's say he was shown the green box first, thus the green box was his sample right so first he was able to identify that okay this green box is matching to the sample however when he was asked what is different he could not identify what was different thus they were not able to exhibit or um, they were not able to identify what was different which is why the same and different cog the, uh, the cognitive abilities to examined same and different was not found in pigeons. So there has been a researcher named Premack who has said that same and different concept should not be based on the total similarity and difference of the object. It should be based on arbitrary symbols, which we will look into further into this study, which means that some of the aspects of the object should be same and some of the aspects of the of both the objects should be different to make sure that the parrot or whoever we are testing on in general knows that okay this part of the object is same but this part of both the objects is different right um he also he also mentioned that for example if someone is um, if a parrot or any other animal is shown two objects, one is a blue wooden triangle and the other one is a yellow wooden triangle, all right? And the, and the animal is asked, what is different? All right, so the category of color is different, right? One of my wooden triangle is yellow and the other one of my wooden triangle is blue, right? So the category of color is different. So not only the our subject should be able to identify that the category of blue is shared, he should be able to identify the label of the category itself, which is color. He should be able to, uh, he should have the ability to give that particular category a label, whether whatever color is that, whatever specific color is that. And likewise, he should be able to generalize this conceptualization onto novel objects. Our novel objects can be anything. It can be a green color instead of a blue color. It can be a red color instead of a yellow color, right? So he should 
he should be able to generalize this concept onto novel objects for which he might not uh, for which he might not even have labels the color labels or the material labels or the shape labels which is why Irene tested him on both familiar and novel objects okay so let's get into the psychology being investigated the psychology being investigated here we are uh, investigating two things one is the cognitive abilities the uh, cognitive abilities that are required for the cat conceptualization of the category of same and different the conceptual skill of that we are looking into that and we are also looking into social learning theory how are we looking into that um, uh, a reinforcement schedule was created for Alex between the object label and the category that had to be learned right so we are looking into social learning theory as a mechanism for learning he was he was exposed to the model rival technique that we will talk about later in this study he was exposed to a model who performed the behavior and he was um, observing that behavior and putting it for later use and this study also looked into the aspect of motivation as Alex received the objects as his reward for his correct answer that was his reward so we are looking into that aspect as well that if he's given the reward if he's motivated for that specific behavior would he be able to learn the conceptual um, uh, would he be able to learn the concept of same and different or not right uh, it's also known as operant conditioning when you are motivating someone through reward or um, discouraging some behavior through a punishment so let's get into the aim of the study the aim of the study is simple we are just looking to see if an african gray parrot could use vocal labels alex was already trained on label accusation he could comment or he could refuse he could he could identify um objects of like up to 80 objects because some some of the colors and some of the shapes and some of the materials were already in his um, label repertoire he, he was already able to identify um, some labels which we will talk about later so we just want to see if he can use those vocal labels that he has learned throughout his life as he was a lab expert uh, lab animal we just want to see if he could use those vocal labels to demonstrate symbolic comprehension of the concepts of same and different. That's our main aim of the study. So let's get into the research method. The study is an experimental case study. It's a very unique kind of study. It's a case study as it's being done on just one participant, which is Alex, and this is Irene. Um, it is also experimental as we have an IV and a DV. We are looking into the effect of a familiar or a, or a novel object on whether he responds correctly to the question of same and different or not, right? So it's an experimental case study, case study because it's being conducted on one animal and it's, and it's experiment because we are looking into cause and effect. 